What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you my first impressions of Neverwinter Nights. Now I plan on doing a review after 100% for this title, and as always I release first impressions videos when I start these games. However, I think it's important to understand with Neverwinter Nights that 100% is definitely up for debate, as one of the key components of Neverwinter Nights, and I believe its sequel as well, was the mod support basically, where people are able to essentially make entire full campaigns and share them with the community, and they're playable by other people. There's a huge multiplayer functionality to this title. Now that said, I am playing the Enhanced Edition, which is basically a revised version of the Diamond Edition of Neverwinter Nights, or its original release anyway. And this edition of the game comes with three default campaigns. There's like the main campaign, which of course centers around the city of Neverwinter. And then there are two other campaigns. I've heard a lot about Hordes of the Underdark, and apparently there's one right before that, Shadows of the Undren Tide. So in terms of gameplay and playthrough, I'm pretty much planning on running through all of those three campaigns, and then I might check out some of the more popular fan-created stuff, as one of the big parts of the Enhanced Edition for Neverwinter Nights was basically restoring the multiplayer functionality of this title, as well as pulling in all of that community-created content. And, weirdly enough, the game is also backwards compatible with the original, so if you have Enhanced Edition, you can actually just play from your old saves from the original title, which I thought was a really cool touch. But that's basically going to be my approach to this title. But all of that said, while I do play a ton of CRPGs, I've never actually played Neverwinter Nights before, so it's really been interesting to jump into this thing and see the sort of middle ground that this particular game strikes between old CRPGs and the newer ones. For instance, this particular game has a hotbar, which you don't really see until later entries. On the other hand, though, that does come with a sort of negative here or there in that they really streamlined character creation. So Neverwinter Nights uses 3.0 edition of D&D, and it seems like at least in character creation and the early game, they really just kind of wanted to streamline that experience for people because a lot of the decisions are more or less made for you. Like, you still get to do the stuff like assigning your stats, etc., but a lot of your skill and feet allocation is relegated to packages, as they're called, which are like presets for a certain class. You don't have to use them, but they definitely push you in that direction, which for someone like myself who knows what they're doing, hard pass, but I can see the appeal, and decisions like that really seem to be made to try to, again, broaden the audience. And then from there, actually jumping into the title, while I have enjoyed what I've played so far. I think it's worth mentioning that, at least in the default campaign, it is a very combat-heavy adventure because there's not been a lot of opportunities for, like, role-playing. Like, there's been a little bit you can kind of change your options and conversations, but a lot of it just kind of takes you down the same path no matter how you choose to behave. The quests themselves have had a few different ways to be approached, but everything just kind of seems to resolve in more or less the same way so far. So I think one of the things I'm going to keep an eye on as I move through the default campaign stuff especially is whether or not there's opportunities to actually roleplay more. As I think, especially for D&D, but CRPGs in general, I think choice and consequence are one of the things that really define the genre. So as I play through the rest of the game, I am hoping to see, frankly, a bit more of that. But overall, my first impressions are that I can see why people enjoy this title. It has been mentioned to me many times, so I'm finally getting around to it. Again, I've never played it myself, but I can see why people enjoy it so much. At the end of the day, the character creation for a rather rules-heavy version of D&D has been largely streamlined, so you can jump into it pretty easily. There's various difficulty modes, so I think regardless of your knowledge of D&D, I think it would be pretty easy to jump into this title and kind of get a feel for what you're doing. It even comes with a pretty solid tutorial that will explain everything you need to know. It's got a metric ton of community and mod support around creating community content especially, which just adds to the endless longevity of this game, which is why you can still find community created content to this day. So while it does definitely have some clunkiness as this game released originally all the way back in 2002, it definitely strikes me as a very ambitious project. Like, I'm very surprised that this came out in 2002, as this almost feels like a sort of video game version of D&D Beyond, at least in what they were trying to accomplish with it. And outside of some general jankiness with the menus, etc., which is pretty much to be expected with these older titles a lot of the time, I'm definitely having a good time. And the last thing I want to leave you with is that I recently reviewed Temple of Elemental Evil, which 
uses a kind of interesting radial menu. But that game released in 2003, and I thought it was funny that this game originally, Neverwinter Nights that is, released in 2002, but somehow had a better version of the same menu. Because the radial menu in Neverwinter Nights is much easier to use and doesn't have you tilting your head at like an 80 degree angle to try to read what your radial menu is telling you. But that is where I'm going to leave it for now, guys. Again, really excited to jump into this one, having a lot of fun so far outside of a few things, and I'm hoping more role-playing opportunities pop up as I run through the base campaigns, etc. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. And regardless of any of that, truly, thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.